so last video we saw how you can use the vibration api to vibrate the user's device in this video we will be using that vibration api to create an app we will be pro we will provide user our text input in which user can enter their name so when user click on a button uh then the device will vibrate for one second and a alert will appear to welcome the user on the app and we also provide a long press event so when user long press on the button yeah it will provide a warning with a long vibration that are you sure you want to clear or delete the text or not so first of all create a react native project and open it on visual studio code and we will test this app on a physical device so first of all you need to import this much component text button vibration alert and touchable native feedback so let me just create a state first for storing user's name uh, let me in, in just write down the initial value as empty string now let us create a function say on press so whenever user uh, press on the button device will simply vibrate for one second then we provide alert title will be welcome user's name Welcome to our app. So this is our on press event. The next one is for on long press. So when user uh, long press on the button device will vibrate for let's say two seconds it means 2000 milliseconds then we provide alert warning are you sure you want to clear the text and we provide couple of buttons the first one will be yes so if you press this we simply set 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 name state to the empty string The second button will be cancel. And on press event, it will do nothing. okay now let us create a text input let's 
let's provide style to it let me create the styling let's say background color is yellow heading is 20 margin is also 20 and width is 90% let me just save this one save this one also now on change text whatever text user inputs we set uh, that name to the name state and value of the text input will be name now touchable native feedback there will be a view and there will be a text called submit we provide styling to view let's say button let me create the button style background color will be let's say blue padding will be 20 width will be let's say 40 percent let me just save this one Set this one also. Now on touchable native feedback, we on on press event, we provide the function on press, and on long press event, We provide the function on long press. Let me just save this. So what I have done here is I have created a state. It's called name and user. Whatever user uh, enters on the text input, it will be saved here. Then I have created a function on press when user clicks on the button then the uh, action will fire device will vibrate and alert will appear to welcome to user and when user long press on the button again the device vibrate for but this time for two seconds to indicate a warning if user press on yes then the name will be cleared uh, and if uh, user press on cancels then alert will simply disappear so that's it for the programming now let's just uh, head over to the physical device you need to run this uh, project by npm start and you need to scan this QR code on your physical device uh, you also need to download the expo app from the play store now uh, let's locate the physical device now okay so i have my expo app open on the android device so as you can see app, uh, app is working fine let me just write my name pigeon and if i press on submit it should uh, vibrate for one second mm. as you can see hello present welcome to our app let me press okay let me type another name as you can see 
Now, if I long press on this, it should vibrate for um, two seconds. As you can see, now we have two options. Are you sure you want to clear the text? If I press on cancel, nothing will happen. Let me just again. As you can see, it vibrate for two seconds. Now, if I press on yes, the text will be cleared. So this is how you can use the vibration API to provide haptic feedback to the users. This is a very small example. You can use this type of um, vibrations in submission or deletion activities. It provides a much more rich user experience to the users. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching it.